Hello guys, Oxen here, and welcome back to Amnesia Custom Store. Let's do this. Uh, I just got myself a lantern. We are together, hit. What the fuck? I'm the king, and I demand justice. I just have no fucking clue, guys. Wait a minute, this looks, uh... Looks like a secret path. Indeed it does. That's the hotel. I'm just gonna go to... Yeah, right, I don't have to go to the school first. I'm gonna go into the basement. Hello? What do I hear outside sounds when I'm inside? <gasps> the dining hall! The fuck is wrong with you? Hey there, welcome to my bar. Now buy something or fuck off. I'm gonna fuck off. But I can't even pick up the fucking... This dude is drunk. This literally start Oh fuck <sighs> Wait what? Oh, with a little lock the crowbar might be there, but I have to do it in the middle of the night. Okay, so now it's gonna be scary. They're gonna have a guard down here, aren't they? Oh, it's... Now this looks promising. Tin box. <laughs> no, I don't like this. Well, that was a fly. I bet someone's gonna go down here now. Let's just get out the fuck out of here. I'm legit scared now. Fuck. I'm breaking in. Whoa! <sighs> Fuck. Never in his life did he think he would look up to a little girl. The truth to be told, he does. The little girl in the red dress abused no family born. Born without a speaking ability. And yet, here she is, smiling like no, nothing ever happened. 
I wish I could be that strong. He thought for himself. But you could talk though, right? Someone left a letter at my house yesterday, telling me to visit the chapel during the night for an explanation. It bothers me that this person, person whoever it is, wants to meet me during the night. But it, I just lost my only job and have nothing to lean back on. So I guess the chapel it is. P.S. In case I forget, there's a spare key to the chapel in my desk. I probably not need it though. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm losing students left and right. Some of them are missing and some of them either fled or can't leave their own homes due to their overprotecting parents. They refuse to even talk. Talk about the situation. My only student left is Alma. And the landlord sees no purpose to continue the education until further investigations has conducted. I was surprised and shocked when I saw all my latest, latest essay. Five fully described pages about her far father. Father's weird experiment and how she managed to escape from his abuse. One thing that especially got my attention is the part where she wrote about committing suicide. And demons that helped her on the other side. Most likely a creation from an intricate imagination. But on the other hand, my mind went pretty crazy when Harry revealed the awful tr truth about my dear Marie. What's even more weird is that her image of her father is exactly like a man I saw in the prison beneath my father's house. I'm also fascinated by the fact that she was born without the ability to speak. But now thanks to something called a channeling machine, originally used by a man named Agrippa, she's able to speak almost perfectly. It's been a pleasure working here for the past month. I've been employed here and still not done with my studies, so I was overwhelmed with the joy when Lord Manfred Winston offered me a full time job as the new teacher here in Godfrey Elementary. I only have 8 students, so it's not very advanced, but I have to start somewhere. I am, however, not sure when Manfred chose me, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Ah, Chrissy. He left the spare key here. That means he either forgot it, didn't need it, or came back with it afterwards. Either how, I should visit the chapel during the night. I have to go back and sleep now. Uh, but let's do that in the next video. I see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Bye!